Andrew has won nine New Zealand Superbike Championships at Daytona four times on the Britain, two Superbike titles in America, and won the World Series on the Britain. Please welcome Andrew Stroud. But Andrew, when you came to your first child, there was a miracle that happened there. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, um, well, Karen was just wake, waking up in the middle of the night, just in excruciating pain, and went to, the, went to the doctors and had some tests and said, oh, you're pregnant. So we were really excited about that. We told everyone and um, went for some more tests and I went for a scan and the lady said, oh, there's no baby in the womb. I just can't see any, anything here. And Karen said, oh, bring the scanner up here where all this pain is. And um, so she did, and sure enough, there's a heartbeat in the fallopian tube. And I said, it's an ectopic pregnancy. It's really serious. You bring the, have the car brought straight to the front and go straight to hospital. So we went to Middlemore, and we were, they'd already cleared the theatre for us, and they were waiting for us. And, you know, they said the tube can burst and you can bleed to death. And, and um, I said, put this gown on to Karen. And we thought, this doesn't seem right, you know. We were quite excited about this. <laughs> And um, then my phone, they left the room, my phone rang. It was a guy who passed it down in Cambridge, Murray Smith. And he said, um, what's happening with you guys? I just can't do any work. Um, God just puts me on, you know, you guys on my heart. So we told him and he said, we'll, we'll start praying. I think something's going on here. And they came back in to come through to the theatre and we said, oh, we'll leave it for now. He said, you can't leave it. It's really dangerous. And um, Karen said, what's the chance of my baby moving into the womb? They said, it's a 0% chance. Once they're implanted in the fallopian tube, it's that. That's where it's going to stay until it grows and bursts the tube. Um, but we just had a piece to leave it. So we, we did. And all the senior members of the hospital were trying to talk us into it. Heaps of pressure. You can't do this. But we left anyway. And um, a day late, we told lots of people, and people were praying all over the place. But as we were leaving, actually, the pastor's wife turned up with a little soft toy, baby's toy, just in faith that this is going to be all right. And the next morning, this lady from Christchurch, who prayed with John Britton, actually, and led him to the Lord before he died, she called us up and said, you know, I've been praying this morning with a friend, and as long as I've been a Christian, I know God's done a miracle here. I've clearly seen the baby go from the right fallopian tube, she didn't know, down into the womb, and uh, don't have the surgery. We had a piece anyway. You know, the, the doctor said to Karen, just go and lie down and be close to the hospital. We were dancing in, up in front of church. We, did, we, we knew, knew a miracle would happen. We went back to the hospital, had a, did a scan, and they said, we don't know how to explain this, but somehow this baby is now in the womb. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I was going to say, you know, they were going to cut a flaping tube out, so it would have had implications for the further pregnancies down the track too. So God's blessed us greatly in, um, in child, childhood. And now that group of cells that they said was just a group of cells is now 16 years old at Boys High and just he was leading the winter series at Manfield before he broke his collarbone. <laughs> Excellent.